Hey there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, here with one of our members, Marta Spurk, who is an amazing coach and has her own podcast, The Empowered Woman Show. And I'm excited to talk with her and have her share a little bit about her journey. Marta, tell us a little bit about you. Yes, thank you so much for having me, Crystal. Um, so I'm originally from Brazil. I have uh, been teaching for a long time, almost 20 years. I started teaching when I was 14. My career path has been with languages. I still work as an interpreter for Colorado Courts. Uh, but when, once, I, once I had triplets, once I became a mom and had the super surprise of having yeah. triplets, um, I began coaching. I began this uh, really this desire of understanding myself more and increasing my self-awareness and stumbled upon personal development. And for the last four years, this is what I have been focusing on in helping women, especially women entrepreneurs, um, nurturing themselves in order to see the change and the growth in their life and in their business. Awesome. That's amazing. Uh, so I like to kind of learn and follow what's going on with members and what kind of new things are happening with you. So tell me a little bit about any recent accomplishments. Like what's, what's, what are you like shouting from the rooftop about? <laughs> Yes, I am super excited about the Empowered Woman's Path, which is a framework that I've created that has five steps that really helps you measure your progress with personal development. Because the tricky thing with personal development is that it's kind of hard to really gauge where you're at. Are you more confident today than you were yesterday? Do you appreciate and value yourself and your worth more today than you did last year? And then with these steps, you're really able to pinpoint where you're at in this journey from feeling... Uh, unmotivated and not so confident in yourself to truly feeling empowered and putting yourself out there and your business out there more fearlessly. So this is something that I've uh, developed and I've been super excited to, to share with the world and, and seeing the results um, and how women um, are really strengthening themselves through this. Great. So tell me, so how can people get, um, find that? I know you're going to give me some links, but if there's anything yes. to call out that they can you know, go to, to try to get that info. Yeah, you can find it on my website, just .com. I have it all over the place, but I call it um, really the five self-love hacks for entrepreneurs and understanding how loving yourself and understanding yourself and really nurturing yourself like, like you do with the people that you love the most, including your clients, is going to help you grow your business. So as I was just listening to you, I was just thinking, I wonder what, so when you, this is a curveball, we didn't talk about this before, Yes, but- you're talking to people a lot. You talk to a lot of women that are looking for and seeking that uplifting and empowerment. What kind of things are they, as I've kind of gone through this journey right now with all of the things, all of the feelings, all of the emotions yeah. of the past few months, what yeah. have they been saying to you and what kind of things are you sharing with them to help them kind of get out of those low moments right now? Yeah. So I think the main thing, and this is something that uh, one of my clients has gone through because uh, I have a, a mini course that actually helps you implement these five uh, ha hacks. And one of my clients that has been going through this, she said, you know, I've always thought I was confident. Um, mm -hmm. I have no problem, you know, talking, I'm an extrovert. And, but then the way you put things and talk about how we disrespect ourselves as we're building our business, because we're so focused on, you know, serving our clients and making money, we forget about ourselves. And that's where yeah. my message comes in. I realized my actions are not really telling me that I believe in myself and that I am confident in myself. And a lot of that comes through when you think you're being selfish by taking a time for yourself, uh, especially for the moms, right? When mm -hmm. we're building our business and we're leaving our kids with somebody else, or we're not giving the, them the attention that they want, especially with everything that's happening right now. So we feel those feelings of, you know, being, feeling selfish, or we feel the, the infamous imposter syndrome. Who am I to be doing this? There are more people qualified than me. All of those things come into play when you are putting yourself out there, when you're creating an offer. And then we tend to think, well, maybe my offer is not so great. Maybe the marketing is lacking. And all of those factors, of course, mm -hmm. come into play. But at the end of the day, if you don't believe that what you have to offer is good, if you don't trust your own expertise, then how can your potential clients trust that as well? And this is what mm -hmm. I help women really develop and become aware of first, just yeah. like this woman that said, Hey, I thought I had it all together, but the way you're putting it makes me think other otherwise. And yeah. so 
going through this path really helps you see where you're at so that you know exactly what's your next step is. Because a lot of entrepreneurs really feel stuck and frustrated because there's so many different things that they can try and they don't know where to start. And I say, start with yourself, start with looking at what your business is, which is you. Awesome. Yeah. So much of running business is emotional and it's all in us to, to take it to the next level. And personal development is often the best form of business development. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're making a huge difference. Mm -hmm. I hope so. <laughs> well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me. I'm so happy to have, you know, taken a few minutes of your day today to talk. And I'm glad to always have you as a Women of Denver member. You're um, a great fierce presence and just so you know you're like one of my stars I see you doing your thing and you keep moving and none of this stuff has stopped you and you have this like power face oh, it's like a, a really beautiful friendly face but it looks like oh, I'm doing my thing yes well and that's how I can encourage women too because yeah. I'm doing it right I'm, I'm practicing what I preach yes <laughs> thank you so much thank you bye